Hi there! Welcome to our YouTube channel. In this video, we discuss how to add variable information to the tickets created via Ticket Generator. Every ticket design has fixed information common for all. For example, event name, event time, location, etc. However, you may also want to add variable information unique to each guest. This may include guest name, seat number, row number, ticket class, ticket price, hall, etc. Ticket Generator allows you to create tickets in bulk with each ticket having both fixed and unique information. Now let us see how you can do this for your tickets. First, go to Create Tickets and click on Bulk. Now, select an event that you need to create the tickets for. For details on how to create an event, send tickets, see analytics, etc. Watch the complete demo video of Ticket Generator. The link is in the description. You can add variable information using both own design and default design options. Here, we're going with default design. Now, you'll see some event details on the ticket already. For example, event name, timing, and venue. To add variable information, find the option to add variable information blocks. Click on the plus icon. Here, we're adding five blocks to our tickets. Each block has a header and value. The header is a placeholder to describe what the value is. For example, seat, name, or hall. Value denotes the actual data corresponding to the header such as a 3 or Nick Carlson let's click on done. Now you'll see the options to generate the tickets. We have explained these options in our previous videos. To keep it simple, let's choose generate and download. This will help you generate and download tickets with variable information. Now, you'll have to upload the data to be added as variable information in each ticket. You can do this by uploading a CSV or Excel file. Let's download a sample file for better clarity. You will need to format the spreadsheet. In row 1, add column headers defining the data in the column. Note that these headers will replace the header placeholders in the ticket design. Row 2 onwards, add value corresponding to each header. Each row will contain data for one ticket. We're not modifying this file as the sample data looks good for demo. Let's upload this file now. Next, we need to choose the output format. We can download the tickets as individual files in JPG or PNG format here. Or we can also download multiple tickets in a set of sheets. Each sheet can have one to four tickets as per the layout you choose. We're going ahead with the PNG format. Let's click Generate and confirm the use of ticket credits. The tickets will be processed and the batch will be sent to your registered email address. Here's the sample batch that we've prepared for you. You can see that in the first ticket there are five blocks of information having the information we added to the CSV file. Other tickets will also have variable data as per the data file you uploaded. So, that was one way of using the variable information feature. Hope you found it useful. Other than generating and downloading the tickets, you can even send them directly to the required guests via email, SMS, or WhatsApp. Let's see how. Go to Create Tickets and select Bulk. Choose the required event. This time, we're going to select the Own Design option. Here you can use a ready-made template as the ticket design. You can upload the image from your device or provide a URL of the image from the internet. You can also use the recently used section if you have uploaded any images in the past. Let's choose an image. Note that with the own design option, fixed details such as event name, timing, and venue are not added by the tool. This is done to not clutter your design template. It's expected that the design user's upload shall have this information customized to their needs. You'll only get the unique QR code with a ticket code in this design option. Now, let's add three variable information blocks. You can move these placeholders. Also, you can modify the font size and color of these blocks. Let's click on Done. We're choosing Generate and Send this time. Here, you can send tickets via email. SMS, or WhatsApp. Let's proceed with email for now. 
Click on Upload Data File and download a sample file. In the sample file, you'll see the first column needs you to add the email address of the recipients. The corresponding columns will have the variable information to be added to the ticket of the required guest. Now, you can upload this file. Next, verify the contents in the inline editor, modify the email contents, and click on Generate. That was all about the use of variable information blocks with Generate and Send. Now, let's see how to add variable information blocks in our exciting feature event registration. Event registration helps you create a landing page to get event registrations. You can then share this registration page's link with the guests. As they fill it out to register for the event, you'll be able to approve the registration manually or automatically. There might be situations where you'd want your guests to fill out some additional details in the registration form to be added to their tickets. For example, you may want to add the name and city of the guest on the ticket itself. Let's see how to set this up. First, ensure that you've started using Create Tickets option, selected a ticket design, and added the required placeholders for variable information. We have already completed this in the previous part of the demo. Now, we've uploaded the ticket design with three blocks of variable information. Let's go to Registration, select our event, and click on Set up event registration. You can modify the form design by adding images, descriptions, etc. Our focus here will be to change the form field section. Say we're designing a form and need the guests' emails where we can send the tickets. Additionally, we also need them to share name, age, and city. These three pieces of information will go on the ticket as well. Let's add three fields here for capturing name, age, and city. Make these mandatory through the toggle option. Click on Done Editing. Now, under Registration Settings, you'll be asked for additional information on these fields. That's because they will be mapped with variable information. Say our first header value is name and it needs to be mapped with the name field in the form. Now, the second header value is age and it needs to be mapped with the form field age. Similarly, the third header value is city and it should be mapped with city in the form. Now, all the tickets generated via this option will have the design set by us. Additionally, they'll have the values such as name, age, and city as per the guest's response. Next, choose the approval system, registration limit, etc. Click on generate link. You can then copy the live URL. Here is how the form will look like. We've also created a sample ticket for this scenario. Notice there are three blocks of variable information here. That's it. This is all about how to use the variable information feature using different ticket generation methods. If you found the video, hit the like button. If you have any queries, drop them in the comments section or reach out to our support team at support at ticket-generator.com. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel.